Hey y'all, so today is wash day. Yes, so I have put in conditioner overnight on my hair because my hair is really curly and um, it was previously braided up. It was braided up for a couple of months actually. So you can't, when you have previous, previously braided hair, you can't just go in and just wash your hair. You have to kind of detangle it. Um, I This is called the pre steps before you wash your hair so i have put in conditioner i'm gonna just put turn you this way i put in conditioner all in my hair and i've let it soak in the conditioner overnight now it's time to detangle my hair and this is all i gotta do before i start to um wash it before i wash it i always do this step especially if it's been a while since i put in braids so uh right now i'm putting in this conditioner now this is the conditioner that i'm currently using it's a conditioning hair mist repair detangler so this is the one that i use i don't think it's okay there it goes a little bit it's the conditioning mist by pantene so i don't have any specific products that i've used in my hair because I'm always buying new products. So just when it's wash day, I just start to use a lot of different products. So as I go, I'm going to tell you what I use. The first thing I used was just some regular Dove conditioner. Let me see if I can find it. Just the Dove conditioner. This was the Dove conditioner that I use. It's just the oxygen moisture. Sorry, it looks dirty and dusty. It was under the sink. So the oxygen mo moisture conditioner. That's what I put on my hair overnight then um again i'm in my detangling process so again i'm gonna spray my whole head with this uh detangler by pantene and then once i detangle my hair then it's time to wash my hair so once it's time to wash my hair i'm gonna come back on screen and let y'all see what um what i use to wash my hair again i don't really have a wash hair routine i pretty just you must use a lot of products that i think is gonna work and i combine them so i'm just gonna go through the things that i use on my hair today now next time i do my wash day it might change or i might have my favorites so we're gonna go through that the next step so right now i'm about to detangle and then it's time to wash so let's get started okay so i'm done um detangling my hair let me show you all the hair that i lost um from detangling now i got my hair braided in april i just took out my braids yesterday so it's september so that's april may june july august september so it's been six months since i got my hair braided this is the hair loss that I had within six months. So basically, your hair sheds every day. So this is how much hair you would have shed in six months. Um, give or take. Um, that looks about right. That's how you know. Um, like this is how much you hair you would have shed in six months. I'm just gonna say that. All right. So now it's time to wash. So I'm trying to figure out which one I want to use. I like this, um, what is this? Pantene NutriBlends Miracle Moisture Boost. Let me see if that focus on that. By Pantene. Okay, so I think I'm going to use that. And then I'm also going to combine it with this um shea moisture i'm gonna turn you this way maybe it's easy this way i'm gonna also combine it with this shea moisture I'm also combine it with this shea moisture um what is this restore conditioner so i'm basically going to use both of them i'm going to use the conditioner and the shampoo all at the same time y'all already know i'll be mixing stuff around this piece so um, this shea butter gash, it has shea butter, peppermint, and apple, apple cider vinegar in it. And again, I'm going to mix the shampoo and this conditioner with it. I like using shampoo and conditioner together. Um, because I don't know, it kind of just breaks down on the time. Even though I do, after I do my shampoo and conditioner together, 
Then I do a leave-in conditioner. That pretty much is the end of it. I do a leave-in conditioner plus a moisturizer. So this is the leave-in conditioner that I'm, I've been using lately. This Dove, what is this? Uh, moisture Lock Curls. I've been using this. And I use this, I mix this together. I use the Three Minute Miracle by Pantene. And for moisture, I use this, um, let me see, this for the moisture. And then I also combine it with this. I've always used this right here, this 10 in 1 hair mask. So once I get to that point, I'll let y'all know how I put it in my hair. But right now I'm going to shampoo my hair and then I'll be right back. Oh, okay, so back to my hair. Okay. Alright, so back to my hair. Um I'm trying to uh, get through this natural hair season and for all my natural girls, you know, it's a struggle trying to get through natural seat like the, the time that you take out to like embrace your natural One hair turn left onto 30th Street. It's really a struggle because I can eat. I mean I sell hair so I can easily just go in my living room and pick out hair or wigs whatever I want to put on and be done with it but I know what's best for me and it's best to let your hair air out a little bit I mean it's literally if you think about it it's, if you wear wigs your hair is literally under a wig cap or under a wig like my hair was just under that wig for like six months other than when I had the um when I contracted the virus I did let my hair out then but it was braided up so it was like it still wasn't just out and about so I don't know. I'm struggling with this because I'm not gonna say I want to say that I'm not gonna say I feel like I don't look pretty with my natural hair. I'm gonna say that with my natural hair, I don't feel like I look old. I like I don't feel like it's not glamorous. Is that I'm trying to get a, get the word out? Cause it's not that I don't like my natural hair. I just don't feel glamorous. Like. Even when I put on like lashes or get my eyebrows done, like I just don't feel glamorous. I don't know. With a wig, I feel I can do like color, it's curly, it's straight. You can do a lot of stuff with a wig. With my natural, I really can't do all that stuff. Like I just can't. So I'm trying to embrace my natural hair a little bit more that way i won't be dreading the fact that i'm in natural girl hair season so for me it has to work for me like i can't be getting up and have to flat iron my hair every morning i need to literally get up shake my hair and go um so again if it works out at the salon I should be able to wear my hair down for a couple, I guess, days or a week or so before I get tired of it. Then usually I'll pull it up and maybe pull out a bang. If I can get a bang, I'm gonna see if they can um, cut me a bang, a bang, yang, 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 yang. So I'm gonna see if they can cut me a bang. I'm not sure until I get there. She can't cut me a bang, then I usually just pull my hair and wear it back in a ponytail and just wear my hair hanging because I have a haircut. So my hair lays really nice when it's cut. So. Other than that, I really don't do anything to my natural hair because, again, um, I don't have time to, if I wet it, it gets really curly. Like, my hair is really curly. Like, my hair is like a tight curl. Almost like it'll knot up. But, I mean, it just is what it is. Me and my mom pretty much got the same kind of hair. Um, so, that's what I'm doing. If I chop my hair off into a bob... That might be easier because if I flat iron it, I don't have to flat iron a lot of hair. It's just literally, it's short. So I don't, I'm not going to have to flat iron a lot of hair. But all my hair is going to be gone. Like, I don't know. I've never been, 
Like, I've never had hair past my shoulders. Like, I, my hair has never been shorter than my shoulders. My hair has never been shorter than my shoulders. So, it's like, I don't know. It's just like, I don't know. A part of me wants to cut it, but then it's like, why? Why should I cut it, you know? Like, why should I cut it? You know, I don't know. Should I cut it? Shouldn't I cut it? I don't know. I guess you will see my final results at the end. Hopefully, everything goes right when I get in a salon. And let me tell you all. I rarely go to black nail hair salons, rarely. Like, when that's my natural hair is out, I don't go to black hair salon to get my hair done because I'm one of those people, like, when I make an appointment, I need you to be ready. So, when I walk in there, I don't want to be waiting. If I have to wait, I need to be waiting no longer than five minutes before you start on my service. That's what kind of person I am. So, sorry i've been to black nail salons i mean black hair salons and i just haven't had a good experience you make a five o'clock appointment you make a three o'clock appointment they don't start on here to four o'clock i'm not i don't like that um i did go to a stylist in um atlanta and she did start on me promptly she met we booked the appointment and when i got there she worked like started right on my hair so she was like my little gem so when i get back to atlanta i'm always going to go to that that particular hairstylist because i'm the type of person again once i walk in i need you to start on my services because i'm a busy person i don't have a, a, a hour to sit there because you're behind an hour and i know things happen but i just don't have that kind of time because why i, I have like today i set this day aside to get my nails and my hair done but in between breaks i'm still editing my cvs video to put up i'm thinking about what video to put up tomorrow like i'm still working so i don't really have any time to waste to be honest so my daughter asked me why do i always go to white salons to get my hair done and i said simple they start on you right away i have never had a bad experience a white salon they know how to cut hair precisely because they cut they mostly cut hair they mostly cut hair black salons they don't really cut cut hair like that they know how to style hair they know how to curl hair they know how to flat iron hair they know how to do that as far as cutting you will find great black stylists that know how to cut but i'm just going to be honest that is not our field really our field is styling. That's what our field is. We can style the heck out of some hair. But as far as like, again, giving you a precise cut, no. So for me, I'd rather go to the white salons and get my hair um, cut and to, to get it together. So again, I hope I won't be biting these words when I get in this salon. I mean, they had 4.4 stars on Yelp. So I hope I wasn't steered wrong. And I don't know. I just... And on top of that, let me go back to the black salons. On, and on top of the black salons, they charge you a lot of money. Way more money than if you would have um, got your hair done at a white salon. So this same service that, I probably, that I'm getting now, I'm just getting my hair washed. I don't get a relaxer or anything. I haven't got a relaxer in about 20 years. So I don't, um, I, I'm getting my hair like washed blow dry i'm getting my hair cut and that's it i'm not getting a color or nothing like that the lady told me about 50 maybe 60 dollars at a black salon i probably would be at 100 because they don't like dealing with natural hair and it takes more time so i get it but i don't know and like i said they're not really that precise when it comes to cutting hair so I told my, my daughter that I'd rather go to white salon. But she was like, well, don't let them get you, give you no, like, like, basically, don't let them give you no white haircut. But I was like, whatever, I know how to direct people. I hate directing people, but I'm a beautician. I mean, like, I'm a cos, cos, I mean, I went through cosmetology. I got, like, I'm a licensed cosmetologist. So, like, certain things, it's just hard for you to sit there. It's just hard for you to sit there and see somebody do something to you and you don't say nothing when you're a cosmetologist. If you're a licensed cosmetologist, you understand what I'm talking about because... I have to just put this up there. Um, 
So if you're a licensed cosmetologist, you know exactly what I'm saying. Like, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, it's just really hard for us to sit there and just let people do what they want to do to our hair. So, um, hopefully I don't have to because some people get offended. Like, when I was doing nails, I did not like for people to tell me what to do. Like, I've been doing nails for a long time. And I'm pretty sure they feel the same way. It's just like, like I said, it's just that cosmetologist in me. And sometimes I tell them like, oh, I went to cosmetology just, just so they can understand why I'm asking questions. And think like, don't think like I'm just being picky or like, I'm just being a bitch or something. So anyway. I'm done with my service. I'm gonna pay and then I'm going to sh tell y'all how it went in the car. I'll be right back. Hey y'all, so it's been a couple of days. Um, today is, I need to get my life together day. I have been in the house a couple of days dealing with a couple of things. So I've been looking a mess. If y'all can see my eyelashes, yeah terrible my hair i can't take it no more that's got to be done something's got to be done it is today so i'm gonna be doing my, uh tackle this hair i'm tired of my hair looking like this this is probably gonna be the last week i'm wearing my hair out i know the last time i vlogged i was in the salon getting it done um my hair doesn't last a long time like this because one i have to keep on flat ironing it because uh flat ironing it or straighten it because i'm natural so anytime i get in a shower the tub if i get it wet anything work out it's going to draw back up because i have really curly hair so i just don't have time to keep flat ironing my hair every day i usually just have my hair out to give me a little bit of a break from wigs and weaves and blah 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 so i think my next hairstyle either i'm going to put it up put it all the way up in a bun maybe and maybe add a little bit of extensions to it to have like a top bun. Um, and I might have a bang. Uh, I might, you know, get a bang added on it either we. If I don't do that, I want to get some braids. So one or the other. Um, because I just, I'm busy. I don't have time to keep flat out of my hair. Like right now I got a lot of stuff to do. And I got to, like if I don't want to go out like this. Or put a hat on, which I've been wearing a hat for like two weeks. Or a week or so. I'm going to have to flat out my hair. So I'm just going to flat out my hair. And then after that, I'm just going to go and get it done. Because it's just, this is the last quarter of the year. And I'm just getting really busy. Um, I, I flat out my hair. I usually wear my hair like, I don't know, just back. It seems like it's better when it's back. Um... It just seems like I can't really do anything but like a little all of it back because it's so thin. So I feel like gives me a little bit of, you know, I don't know, all my hair back make make it look a little bit thicker. 
what I tell y'all every time I pick up the camera. I'm about to call that person back. All right, so now I'm about to um, mix my, um, <clears throat> let me show y'all. So now I'm about to mix my edge control. If you haven't seen my video, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I was getting coughed up a little bit. If you haven't seen my video um, of the how I use my edge control, this is what I use, this waterproof eyeliner. And then I mix it in with some edge booster. And that's what I put on my edges. So these are how my edges are looking right now. And this is how it looks all the way around. Okay, so <clears throat> I don't want to go. Um, let me see, is it going to focus? So I don't want to go like outside like that so i'm just going to fill in my edges and then i'll be right back um after i fill in my edges i'll probably come back on here actually when i get in the car i'm gonna come back on here because i kind of i kind of like running late and i still got to do one more thing before i leave the house so i'm gonna do my edges because that looks a mess and then i'll be right back okay y'all so i'm done i've done my edges Hope you can get a good look at that. So I done my edges. Both sides. I think they turned out great. You know. I think they turned out great to how they been looking all week. I hope that focus good for y'all. And then in the front. I kind of just put a little bit in the front. Because I don't want like. It to look not natural so I usually kind of like just blend in a little bit in the front I really don't put that much in the front to be honest I just put a little bit in the front I don't, I'm, I'm more concerned about my um, sides than I am my front um, since this is the first day that I did my sides I usually don't put that much like shine spray I just put a little bit on there they look a little dull so I might add a little bit more shine spray but the more oil you put on there, the easiest it's going to be able to wipe off. So, when you do your edges, don't put that much, like, shine spray on it. Uh, if you use the edge booster in my trial kit that's in that little container, um, it has shine to it. So, that might be just enough shine that you need. Uh, for me, I sometimes the, uh, if the waterproof eyeliner dulls it down a little bit. So, you just probably need, like, an oil shame, but lightly. Some kind of a light oil so it won't wipe off the water um, proof mascara eyeliner. Alright, this is how my hair look in the back. Let me see if I can turn y'all around. This is how my hair looks in the back. This mirror is dirty. I hope y'all can't see that. But this is how my hair looks in the back. My hair is pretty long again. Um, I like the way... Um, see if y'all can see that maybe I'll turn around y'all can see so it's pretty long it's thin but it's long um I like the way the lady um cut my ends she cut my ends really great so that was good um this is probably gonna be like the last day of me wearing my hair not the last day but like the last next couple of days with my hair being down um so I'm just gonna just wear it until it starts cramping up again and then i'm just gonna go and get it braided or something else done to it